Hello, hello. So welcome back to my channel. Today I have done a makeup look inspired by none other than the Patrick Ta. Um, he did this look on the gorgeous Jasmine Sanders, also known as Golden Barbie on Instagram. Um, this was her. I do not have the same shape, face or beauty or anything like her. I even tried to highlight my shoulder, but <sighs> anyway. Um, it's a gorgeous sort of like soft brown glossy lid. Um, I used quite a lot of Marc Jacobs products in this. Actually, just a couple. Um, but basically, this is the feature gloss that I used. It is Sugar Sugar, the enamored lip gloss by Marc Jacobs on the eyes and on the lips. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I just recorded this entire thing and then realized it wasn't recording. Anyway, let's begin. Um, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and the Do You Liquid Illuminator and I'm going to pop that all over my skin. I like to mix them together to give a kind of really nice hydrated soft glow um, to the skin. Sometimes if I want a little bit more of a glow, I'll mix the Do You in with a foundation, but I do want sort of a little bit more of a soft one, a bit more of a glow within. So I'm using that as my base. And for foundation, I've gone in with the new Dior Forever Undercover Foundation, and this is in the color 040. I only grabbed a sample of this one just for now because I'm fading in color quite quickly and winter is upon us soon. Um, so I just kind of wanted to grab a sample to see what worked for me now, and I absolutely love the foundation, so I am going to purchase it. And then I'm going in with the Sephora High Coverage Concealer, and this is in the color number 28 Caramel or Camel or something like that. I didn't want too bright of a highlight. Again, I still wanted this to be a very seamless um, kind of look as it was in the photo that Patrick Tarr did. So I do want um, sort of a little bit of brightness within the center of the skin, but nothing too intense. So I did get something that was just one shade um, sort of lighter than my foundation color. And I'm just bouncing that with my beauty blender, making sure everything is blended in, taking it over my eyelids as well, um, just to conceal over the veins and stuff that I have on there. And then for contouring, um, we're keeping it only to the cream contour today and nothing too heavy. I, um, in this photo, she is like, she does have a very, very soft contour. So I'm just kind of making sure that I'm blending everything really nicely, making sure everything's just a little bit more, I guess, um, toned down than what I would normally do. Not that I normally do quite intense looks, but, um, yeah. And I decided to go around my lips for this one um, just to kind of accentuate the size and it does help if you kind of contour around your lips. Um, as you can tell they do look a little bit bigger and I actually am using powder in this one. I did want to take away um, any of the excess shine or dewiness throughout the center of the face because I do want to focus highlight. That's what it looked like in the photo. It's very nice soft finish all over the face but with a really focused highlight. And for blush we're going in with the MAC Copper Tone Blush. As I said before, she doesn't have a strong contour on. Um, she does have a little bit of a cheek color that kind of helps to act as a contour, but um, we're keeping it quite soft on the cheeks, just slightly accentuated, slightly, um, I guess, defined. And for my brows, I'm going in with the Benefit Cabrow, and this is in the shade 3. I've moved away from my it Cosmetics um, brow pencil just for now. It's still my holy grail. But um, because I haven't had my brows done in so long, I need something that's a little bit more, um, I guess, long wear throughout the day and gives a little more structure to the brow as well because I need all the help I can get at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I do both brows with this, but I do quite keep it quite light and sort of fluff my brows up um, as Golden Barbie does have quite sort of, I guess, slightly fluffy brows in the photo. Still very put together though. Um, and for eyeshadow, we are going in with the Caramel Melange Palette by Zoeva and we're taking Start Soft and Finish Sensual and we're just mixing those two colours all over the lid. They're the only two colours we're going to use um, apart from what I run along my lash line. But basically taking it all over the lid and buffing it up into the crease and slightly above the crease as well because we are adding gloss, I still want the colour to be able to um, translate above when you do open your eye as well. So we're just taking that on both eyes and then I do dip um, and then take my pencil brush into those two colors again and kind of run it along the lower lash line, not creating anything too dark, too harsh, too deep or anything like that. 
um, but we do want a little bit of extra definition on the lower lash line. And then with that same pencil brush, I dipped into a darker color in the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I can't remember the name, but it was just one of the two dark colors. Um, and we're just running that along the top lash line just to give it a little extra definition, um, just so we have a little extra something along the lash line to give us, um, I guess, a slightly deeper look. And then going in with the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar, I'm going to pat that on my lid and then kind of press it in with my finger so that my finger does absorb any of the excess gloss to minimize any creasing later on. And my eyelids kind of do crease quite quickly and I did wear this look for an extra hour and a half to two hours or something the other night when I did it and I didn't experience any creasing which was quite surprising because I have creased before in the past. So I guess just keep it nice and glossy looking but there's no need to like you know, drench your eyelids in gloss. Probably not that good for your eyes either. And then for mascara, going in with the Velvet Noir by Marc Jacobs. Also, I promise this is not a sponsored um, video. I just decided to use all Marc Jacobs. And for lips, we are going in with the MAC Lip Liner in Spice. Um, I do slightly go to the edge of my lips to slightly overdraw it, but because we did contour the lips, I didn't want to do too much of that. But I am keeping the liner only to the perimeter of the lips, and then we're going to pop the gloss in the middle, kind of helping to blend it all through. I still wanted my lips to be quite um, sort of light and glossy in the middle with a like, slight contour to the sides so that you can tell, just like she has in the photo, I guess. And then for highlight, um, I did go in with the Becca Moonstone Highlighter, but I decided that that wasn't bright enough, so I decided to layer it with the Balm Mary Luminizer. Man, it's late. I'm getting tired. Um, so yeah, I decided to layer it with that just to give it a little bit more light in the center, um, and that kind of gave me a little bit more of that focus highlight that I was looking for. Um, that kind of translates in the photo as well, so... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and do more of these sort of like inspired videos or inspired by videos by my favorite artists because I do aspire to be like them one day. So um, why not take a page from their book and I guess learn how they do the things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Ciao. Spread your request to my Julie, you body right Dami won't be grand and make a you bella job with this sound Go you body, you do try to get squeezy, squeezy Excess amount of love and I'm gonna make it easy Give me the feeling, feeling Give me the good Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and do all of that good stuff so that it can be shared around. I really want to try and pick up my channel again. Um, I'm going to do my best to put my part in so that all you guys have to do is click and watch and hopefully enjoy my content. Um, this was just quick, short, sweet. I just wanted to kind of like quickly do it so that I can actually edit this one fast and hopefully upload it. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, it might only make it to Instagram, but you never know. So, yeah.